The Dakar Rally is by far the most dangerous rally event on the planet. This and the Isle of Man TT are motorsports events where deaths are fairly common. 76 people have been killed at this event since 1979, 31 competitors and 45 non-competitors. While these deaths are extremely tragic, some of these are much more tragic and much darker than others. On January 3rd, 1996, a very unfortunate incident happened during the fifth stage of the 1996 Dakar Rally in southern Morocco. A Mercedes support truck for Team Citroen was driven by Laurent Gougen with Pascal Lardineau and Vincent Bowden as the co-drivers. During the fifth stage, the truck was caught in a conflict between the Moroccan army and the Polisaro rebels from Moroccan-controlled Western Sahara. Laurent Gougen still tried to finish the stage, however, the truck struck an abandoned and in Moroccan landmine in a rush to the finish. The Mercedes truck had unfortunately exploded the landmine, killing Gougen and horrifically injuring the two co-drivers. Unfortunately, this wasn't the first incident in the Dakar Rally's history where a military or terrorist group was involved in the deaths of Dakar Rally fans or participants. On January 13th, 1991, another tragic event would strike a support truck for Citroen. Support truck driver Charles Cabanier was shot and killed at the side of the road in southeastern Mali. Although no terrorist organization claimed responsibility for the execution, the murder of Cabinier and attempted murder of his co-driver were blamed on the Tuareg rebels, who terrorized the area from 1990 to 1995 during failed rebellions from the governments of Burkina Faso, Niger, Mali, Algeria, and Libya. After the murder of Cabinier, the next two stages were cancelled, and the competitors were given a military escort out of the country. Yasuo Kaniko was one of many motorcycle riders to die at the Dakar Rally. Of the 31 competitors to die at this event, 23 of them have been on motorcycles at the time. Yasuo Kaniko was one of the saddest though, as he passed away due to no fault of his own. On January 2nd, 1986, Kaniko was hit killed by a drunk driver during a stage in the town of Set in France. Yasuo was only the fourth driver to be killed in the history of the Dakar Rally. Michael Hernick is, at the time of me recording this audio in the middle of December 2021, the fourth to last competitor to die at the Dakar Rally. Hernick was on his KTM when he started the third stage. Sadly, he would never reach the finish line. At 3.16 p.m., officials realized that the Polish rider hadn't finished the stage, and at 4.03 p.m. on the same day, he was found a thousand feet away from the route, dead. He had no broken bones, no bruises, and his bike was undamaged. However, he was found without his helmet. An investigation had started to try and figure out what happened to Hernick. After the investigation, it was concluded that he died from hypothermia and dehydration. However, this still doesn't explain what happened to his helmet that hasn't been found seven years after the incident. The Dakar rally may be an extreme test of man and machine, but its glaring safety problems have gone out of control recently. Fifteen people have died at this rally in the past 10 years. It's sad for me to say this next thing, but I won't be surprised if this upcoming Dakar rally kills again. This event is tragic, cursed even. There were even six people who died in two separate helicopter crashes in 1985 and 1986. One of these helicopter crashes even resulted in the death of the Dakar Rally founder, Thierry Sabine. From terrorist executions, to drunk drivers, to mysterious deaths, the Dakar Rally history books are written in the blood of dead drivers. 